If you have allergies, you may notice that your eyes or lips become puffy or swollen. This is a condition called angioedema. Angioedema is swelling in the deep layers of your skin and mucous membranes. It's like hives, which it often occurs with, but angioedema doesn't cause your skin to itch whereas hives cause itching. The swelling you have with angioedema is caused by leaky blood vessels. Part of your blood called plasma leaks into the tissue under your skin and mucous membranes. This causes these tissues to swell. If angioedema comes on quickly, it can block your airway. This can cause breathing problems and even death. If you have new swelling on your face or in your mouth that comes on suddenly, or if you have trouble breathing, get medical help right away. Angioedema is usually triggered by an allergic reaction to foods such as eggs, fish, shellfish, nuts, and fruits. Next venom, such as from insect stings or bites, pollen, animal dander, allergy shots, immunotherapy, latex, or medicine. An overactive immune system can also cause angioedema. Infections and injuries can also cause it in some people, as can cold heat and exposure to the sun. Angioedema can run in families. This is called hereditary angioedema. This form of angioedema is rare, but it's often more serious than other types. It usually involves the hands, feet, gut, and airway. About half of the time, the cause of angioedema is unknown. It usually goes away on its own. Some of the symptoms you may get with angioedema include swelling in the face, mouth, tongue, back of the throat, vocal cords, and genitals. Swollen areas of the hands, feet, and abdomen. There could be burning or pain in the swollen areas, and there could be slight redness in the swollen areas. Your symptoms may happen suddenly, and they may be scary. If your airway is affected, you may have a hard time breathing. If your gut is involved, you may have belly pain and swelling. You may also get diarrhea or feel nauseated. Your doctor will ask you about your symptoms and whether anything may have triggered it. It's important to tell your doctor if you have any family members with similar problems during your exam. They will look at how far the swelling has and whether you also have hives. Your airway and gut may be checked for swelling. In some cases, you may need tests to rule out other problems. Your doctor may also test for hereditary angioedema. The treatment of angioedema depends on its cause and the severity of your symptoms. Often it's treated with medicines called antihistamines. You may also be given corticosteroids. These are medicines that reduce swelling. If you have severe angioedema and are having trouble breathing, you need immediate emergency care. You will get epinephrine, a type of adrenaline. You may also need a breathing tube, blood plasma products, and certain other medicines may be used. If you have hereditary angioedema, you may also be given pain medicines, fluids, and oxygen. If an infection caused your angioedema, it will also be treated once your angioedema has been treated. The next step is to make sure it doesn't come back. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support us to learn more. Thank you.